Okay, well, greetings, everybody. Uh, I think it's time to get started. We'll, of course, be gaining new uh, participants over the course of the, uh, the morning here in the US and at whatever time you're at in, in your part of the world. Uh, this is our first virtual members forum. Um, we actually had it uh, labeled as Repositories Day in uh, 2000, I believe it was 19 when we, or uh, 18, pardon me, when we held it in Botswana. Uh, but it's such a great opportunity, really, to um, include far more people uh, as a result of this virtual meeting, which is being hosted by our kind colleagues in, at Rice in Japan. So uh, my name is Alex Descherbinen. I'm the scientific, uh, chair of the Scientific Committee for the World Data System. I also serve as a associate director at CSEN, which is a center at the Earth Institute of Columbia University, and I'm a deputy manager of a regular member of the WDS called CDAC, or the Socioeconomic Data and Application Center, which is funded by NASA. And with that, I will turn the mic to Rory Edmonds, who will give a few introductory remarks about uh, WDS. Over to you, Rory. So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Rory Edmonds. I'm uh, currently the Acting Executive Director of the World Data System. Um, and sort of to add to what Alex said, um, since 2012, um, on a, a, a biennial basis, the World Data System has had um, it, what, is, what is known as its Members Forum, uh, which was renamed Data Repositories Day, as Alex mentioned um, two years ago. Um, this meeting is really um, a business meeting for, for the WDS membership. Um, but also is uh, a, a, a meeting that is actually, it's completely open to anyone. And we really are happy that, um, that people are joining us today who are not from the WDS membership. And, and um, we hope they'll be actively involved and, and uh, find the, uh, the, the forum suitably interesting and uh, maybe connect more with, with WDS in the future. Um, just to mention that, that as, as, uh, it is a biannual event, but it has normally been tied to um, a conference, a uh, joint conference by, by WDS. Um, this year, um, the decision was taken to move IDW, uh, International Data Week, to 2021. So um, we will be having, hopefully, if all goes well, a, a actual face, an actual face-to-face -face meeting in uh, Seoul, in South Korea. Um, next year, but we thought it was too good an opportunity to miss to not get the, the community together for the, uh, here in 2020 because um, we don't get many opportunities to, to get, get the community, um, the WDS community together. So um, we have a few slides just as by way of introduction. Um, so as I mentioned, um, WDS uh, members, so WDS is a membership organization. Um, and it's a uh, membership that uh, really is uh, composed of open and trustworthy scientific data services um, and networks of those services. Um, and they and the uh, idea is the WDS mandate is that the, the scientific data services should have um, long term stewardship and provision of quality assessed data and or data services um, and that they serve the, the international Community, uh, science community and, and really the WDS membership comes from all parts of the data life cycle so the WDS members typically will be involved in, in um, multiple of, of the, the parts of the data life cycle um, so capture and storage, curation, long-term preservation, discovery, access, retrieval, aggregation and, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, here's a quick snapshot of where we are at this moment in time. So September 2020, we currently have 84 regular members. So we have four currently have four, four categories of membership with a nascent fifth one that you'll learn about later. But um, for the four categories of mem membership that we currently have, we have 84 regular members. And these are really uh, the, the, the data stewards, data repositories, data analysis services. And they go and uh, the, uh, become certified as trustworthy data repositories through the Core Trust seal. Um, and then we have 11 network members. And these are umbrella bodies of, of the, the sort of the regular member category. They don't necessarily have to be WDS regular members, but they are those type of 
of organizations. So they're networks, umbrella services of data, data stewardship, data uh, repositories, data analysis services. And they also um, become accredited under WDS as trustworthy uh, data networks. Um, so we have 11 networks and we have 11 partner members and they, these contribute some sort of support to WDS and or its membership. Um, whether that be financial or by way of some other type of service. And we have 20 associate members. And these are uh, really just uh, any organization that has a, a strong interest in the WDS endeavor and would like to be part of our conversations. Um, a quick snapshot of uh, WDS memberships uh, geographical coverage. This doesn't really show the full picture because it only is showing regular and network members and in the case of network members it's only showing really where their secretariat is. Um, it, uh, network members, will some of them will obviously have very very large footprints but this is, is really how we, we, we sort of visualize it at this moment in time and you can see we've got a, a fairly large um, an even balance between um, Europe and, and uh, North uh, America. And then we, we've made, got some spread um, throughout uh, Russia and, and Asia um, and uh, the Pacific region. Um, but uh, there are still big gaps. Um, so Southeast Asia is still a big gap. We still have a lot of Africa that is, um, doesn't currently have a member. And we also have the, the uh, all of Latin America where we don't currently have a, a regular or a network member. So this is some, the, glo the Global South really is an area where we need to, to focus and that will also come up in, in the second half of the forum. Um, I'll, I'll hand over to Alex uh, to give you a brief, brief outline of the structure. Um, before doing so, I just wanted to say that you hopefully will have received an email uh, at the end of last week um, about the Data Stewardship Award, I would really like to encourage um, everybody to think about deserving, excellent, uh, young, um, early career people within their organizations and nominate them for that award by the end of October. Thank you. Thank you, Rory. Um, so we are running short on time. I'll just briefly give you an overview of the program. I sent a link in the chat to the program which you can click on and download uh, the latest version of the PDF. The first part of our um, session, which runs for approximately an hour and a half, will be the scientific session where we'll have panelists uh, from various repositories um, holding a moderated discussion around three topics. The first being fair data and interoperability. The second being automation, scalability, and cloud use. And the third being sustainability, making the case for domain repositories through value of information, operational use, and web services. So whether you're a repository that looks something like the one in the top right, or you're a little bit more like the one on the, on the bottom right, uh, we hope that you gain something from these discussions. Uh, the cloud or Wordle that you see in the lower left is based on the abstracts that were submitted for uh, this, uh, for the various repository presentations. We do encourage everyone to take a look at those videos. They'll still be up online after uh, the program is finished. So um, they're really, uh, they're full of rich information and we encourage you to watch some of those videos later. Um, next, uh, just, there's a little animation. There will be panel presentations followed by the discussion. Um, and, uh, and what I meant here is actually breakout. And so the, the idea is that we're gonna have uh, um, essentially uh, three different breakouts that will divide our group up into slightly smaller numbers and allow you to discuss things. Um, next slide, please. Uh, the second part of our program is the community consultation. And this is where we want to present some of the things that are going on within WDS and get membership feedback. And the four topics are listed on the left-hand side. Uh, we do hope you'll find these interesting. Uh, I think there's an animation here as well. Uh, so again, these presentations will be followed by discussion. Um, last slide, please, Rory. Um, so there are some etiquette matters on Zoom. And so I think most of you by now, uh, six months into the pandemic, are very familiar with Zoom and how it works. But I'll just encourage people to turn off their videos unless they're presenting so that those people who are presenting or are on panels, uh, uh, those who are on panels, please do turn on your videos so that we can see your faces and 
um, the way Zoom works, your faces should actually rise to the top of the um, <laughs> to the top of the gallery view if you're in the, in the gallery view. Um, please use the chat function to post your questions, especially during the morning panels. Uh, and you can either panel uh, post them to everybody or post them to Rory, who will be monitoring the chat carefully and will be feeding some of those discussion questions to the moderators. Uh, we plan during the moderated breakout discussion to address topics and some cross-cutting questions. So during that time, feel free to unmute yourself and speak up. We want to hear your voices. Uh, so that's the breakout discussion after these panels in the morning. And then we are going to post a poll at a certain point, and we'll announce that. But the poll, which is a, a Google form, has a number of questions that we'd like your feedback on. And so if you wouldn't mind taking a moment to answer that poll during the breakouts, and the poll will remain open, so you can continue to do that during the second part of the program, we'd appreciate that. And so with that, arigato gozaimasu and we will move on to the first panel. Thank you.